be too difficult to change a breaker. I'm sure I can do it. Oh! Ah! Whoa, whoa, Sandy! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I think so. What did you do? <laughs> well, I was just trying to change a stupid breaker and then bang! Well, Sandy, you don't mess around with electricity till you know how to do it right. Okay, the ambulance is here and they've just loaded Sandy in to go get checked out, make sure she's okay and those wounds are just superficial. A little soot on the face maybe and comb her hair and maybe we'll be back. But uh, for now I better go check on her and just make sure everything's okay and I'll be right back. All right, well it would appear everything's okay and of course I think you know by now that didn't really happen. But a lot of times uh, we do not emphasize safety enough on this channel. So we're gonna do that right now before we get into today's project, which is to replace a breaker. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, so as I mentioned, Sandy and I were looking back at some of our videos and lo and behold, we do not have a video on changing a breaker or replacing a breaker in your home's electrical panel. We had an article on the website and we did that little uh, production way back in 2006 with a company called Yellow Line Productions. So there's your shout out. In today's video, we're gonna do a replacement of a breaker that may have gone bad on you in your panel may not reset anymore, could be a number of reasons for this, could be the wiring, could be the end devices, but once you've checked all that out and you've determined that yes indeed your breaker is faulty, then you need to replace it. And to do that safely of course, always, always, always make sure that the main breaker is off. So let's go over to the demo board and let's get this project started and outline the steps in replacing a breaker in your electrical service panel. Okay, so before we get into the safety aspect of it, after I open this panel up and show you what to do and not to do, let's talk about the tools you need to get this project going. And no, that's where Sandy went wrong. She didn't have the proper tools with her. She had a big old wrench in that little spoof video. But what will you need? Screwdrivers, probably a Robertson, a straight blade, possibly a Phillips. You may need your lineman pliers. You might need a needle nose and you could potentially need your wire strippers in case you need to do some re-terminating of the wire that goes into the breaker. So let's get into the safety aspect of this. Always, always, like I say, you've determined that the breaker is the problem. So let's say it's this breaker here. My RV receptacle 30 amp won't reset anymore. So what you want to do is make sure you shut off the main breaker. So you want to get yourself some alternate light source which I have here with my studio lights and they are plugged into a different circuit. So we shut off this main breaker and then remove this panel cover. Now as you can see four screws here that can be either Phillips straight blade or a number two Robertson. So we're going to use the number two Robertson and remove this panel cover. And I like to leave the top right one as the last one I undo so that I can hold the panel. Different panels may be uh, set up a little different where when you're opening up this part, you're actually going to be right into the main compartment. But this particular panel, there's another, another barrier to the main. So once you remove this, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so with the panel cover removed, as I mentioned, everything below here is not live anymore. And what you wanna do is verify this with a, an electrical meter or a voltage testing device of some kind. Hopefully you have a multimeter with you there. You can get a nice and expensive one that's quite reliable. So no excuse if you're gonna do your own electrical work not to have a good digital voltmeter or digital multimeter. So anyway, in previous testing, of course, you've made sure that indeed the breaker is the bad point here. You've checked right off of the breaker to make sure that there's no power leaving it. So now you're confident you got to change that breaker out. So here's what we got to do. Remove the wire that's going to that breaker. Pull it aside. Now, 
Each panel is a little different in their mounting with these Cutler Hammer panels here. Cutler Hammer eaten now. They clamp onto these bus bars with jaws. So they hook in here. The back end pushes into this slot, catches in that slot, and then they push onto the bus bar. So we got to pull out this breaker and sometimes they're going to be hard to remove. And if they are, you can help it a little bit by gently, gently prying, keeping this breaker in place, but gently pry it off of the bus bar. And then pull that breaker forward off of the lock-in jaws. And there you have your breaker removed. So now you want to grab your new breaker. Test it, make sure it snaps back and forth, locks into the on position. Turn it off. Now here again, you want to hook that back end in first. And then push it onto the bus bar. And if you have trouble again, getting it onto that bus bar, because sometimes it can be tight, you can take the back end of your screwdriver or a rubber mallet and just gently tap that back onto the bus bar. But I can see right now that it's in there tight, so we don't have to worry about that. Loosen off your terminal lug screw. Bring your wire in, make sure it's in the lug properly. Solid conductor, so once you tighten that down, you're pretty confident that it's tight in that terminal lug. If you had stranded wires here, like in a larger size, like a number eight, they're stranded conductors for your range or similar, then you might want to wiggle. You do want to wiggle. You'd want to tighten as you wiggle those, that wire so that the strands kind of all fall away from each other and they're not bunched up. And then you tighten that screw and you think it's all tight and then you just wiggle the wire and it's loose right away. So with stranded wire, wiggle it, tighten at the same time. With solid wire, you're probably okay. So there you have it, your new breaker is installed. Again, make sure it turns off and on. And then put the panel cover back on, turn on your main breaker and you're done. All right, so the panel cover is reinstalled. Turn that breaker, make sure it's in the on position and we're done. So I wanna thank you for watching. I want you to like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind to my channel, I'd appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to click that notifications bell and that lets you know when I release a new video. And please make some comments below and actually what I'd like you to think about here in the comments section, it's a lot of things are changing in the YouTube space and there's a lot of people in my space of electrical how to help anywhere from handymen, do-it-yourselfers, to people who build decks for a living that also touch on the electrical. So the space is getting pretty crowded. I've been here since 1997 on the web, on the internet, with a website that morphed into this YouTube channel. In the comment section, I wouldn't mind if you'd let me know if, if you're finding these videos helpful and useful, if you'd like to see me keep with the same kind of format where I take a project and, and do it for you and go step by step, or would you like to see more short videos, or would you like me to take off in a whole other direction? I know we do have a, a bit of an interesting life, Sandy and I, we live part-time in Canada, and then the other time we are in Costa Rica for most of the winter. So we do have a lot going on down there. If you want to see more of, of what happens in Costa Rica and our life down there, let me know again in the comments. Any comments are so welcome. I like to get to them all and reply. So comment, like, subscribe, click the bell, and let me know what direction you think the internet electrician should go next. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.